Well, good Sunday morning. It's September 19th, uh, about 10 o'clock in the morning. I just watched Matt at Diesel Creek post a video about a pool he dug. So I thought I'd do a little video on our pool. As you can see, it's an above ground pool, 24 feet in diameter. It's kind of hard to keep the leaves out this late in the year. And I'm going to show you a little bit more about it because it's not your metal above ground pool. As I said, it's not your normal metal above ground pool. I had bought one of those in 87 or 88 and it only lasted about three years until the metal frame failed. And you farm boys out there will recognize these as concrete silo staves. I built a 24 foot round pool with concrete silo staves. And on the inside, I lined it with three quarter inch styrofoam, glued that to the concrete to protect the liner from the concrete blocks. It's nothing fancy, I just folded it over the top and then used the ratchet strap to hold the liner tight. The pool is six feet deep on that side and four feet deep on this side as I used an expandable liner. So it's been here 30 years already. And it takes a while for the water to warm up in the spring, but in the fall it cools off a lot slower because that styrofoam, I guess, is like a thermos. And, and there's some debris in the bottom. It's kind of hard to keep the leaves and everything out this late in the year with all the leaves falling. And with this uh, pool made out of silo stays, I'll get, I've gotten as much as seven and eight years out of a liner before they get so brittle around the top and they might start to crack. Or they eventually get stained and we just want to put a new one in. So it's, this one is stained some already. But we'll just want to put in a new one so it looks better again. Now I'm going to show you my heating system because I never had the pool heated till this year. So this late in the year, even though you'd get a warm day, it's supposed to be like 85 degrees this afternoon. We have family coming over. Uh, the water would normally be way too cold already to be getting in it. But this year for the first time I'm heating it. If you see over there, the tank is a stainless steel domestic hot water supply tank. That, it, as you know, I was a UPS driver and I got it from one of my customers when they took it out of a house they bought because they removed the hot water heating system in lieu of wanting to put in a forced hot air with central air, a uh, forced hot air system, heating system with central air. So you took out the hot water baseboard and of course me being the collector, I bought the stainless steel exchange tank from them for a good price and that's probably 25 years ago. And behind it, is a outdoor wood burner for heating the house. Uh, that I just bought last spring for $200. It's actually 20 years old and it looks burned because the garage it was sitting next to burned down and it burned all the controls off of it and the guy just decided to not to repair it and, and keep heating with the outdoor burner. And I did some research and it doesn't leak at all even though it's 20 years old I contacted the manufacturer and they did build some early ones with stainless steel fireboxes and, uh, and but I guess a lot of times the stainless steel would crack but this day apparently I don't know if they would have used I don't know if it's 409 or whatever that is crack resistant because it's 20 years old and it doesn't leak so I Fire that with wood in uh, hot water from the wood burner, goes through the exchange tank, and then there's a hose from the return line on the pool to the heat exchanger and then back into the pool to heat the water. The water coming out the hose is, is hot to the touch, so it's keeping the pool warm this late in the year, and we intend to enjoy it this afternoon. It's nothing fancy, like I will say, lifestyles of the not so rich and not so famous, but it's a lot of fun and enjoyable to float around in it and especially this late in the year. So thanks again for watching.